Good morning guys, gals, Tetra PV Farms here. It is Saturday morning, January 18th. Got it correct. Just because I looked it up before I started this video. Anyways, yes, we're finished with chores. We're going to hop in the Kubota in my nice warm ride. Warm up a little bit. But we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to hook up the Gale 1177 waste disposal spreader it's got some issues and uh, if you guys watched the video yesterday you saw that I was using a homemade selfie stick out of my wife's garden shovel and a broken beater tine or yeah broken manure beater whatever tine spreader what do you want to call it anyways that needs to be fixed and there's a couple other things a couple of the beaters are looking like they're starting to crack and break so we're gonna get this hooked up. We're gonna head on up, grab a bale. But as our trip up to get the bale, we're gonna also be going by the uh, machine shed up there. There's room for that manure spreader up there. So I wanna get it up there, get it out of this nasty weather and uh, be able to start working on it. Because if you guys can see, we got uh, frozen ground. The fields, yeah, they might be a little iffy, but we've had some cold temps, not a lot of snow. So it's letting this ground firm up a little bit. So I need to get my button gear, take advantage of the situation, and start getting rid of some of this NPK piles around here. So we got a couple things to do. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Of course, when you decide to do something, there's always a little minor setback. And as you can see, there is no drawbar hitch in there. I forgot that I took it out. Now I got to find out where it's at. Due to having the snow blower on, the PTO once in a while would just get too close and kind of rub and I didn't want that. So we pulled the drawbar hitch out, set it somewhere, I have no clue where it's at. Here I've been looking for the last half hour for this thing, and right there it sits. Not too far from its home, so got lucky on that one, other than wasted a half hour. Okay, that's more like it. Especially after 15 minutes of messing around with that. Digging out frozen mud. Keep equipment clean. Saves time in the long run. Practice what I preach. All lined up. Ready for pin. Pin in. Check. Transport mode. One, two, three. Ready, set, go. Pulling my fertilizer wagon. Yes, this is my fertilizer wagon. Okay, we made it up to the storage barn. It's where I'm standing right now, out of Old Man Winter. Spreader's right there. We're going to back it in here. Only downfall to that is that tractor will not fit underneath that door. So I can only bring the spreader so far. I'll have to run up here with the skid steer quick, push it in so it's undercover, and try to weasel its way in here. There's plenty of room, as you can see. We got the baler, lots of three-point hitch attachments, but... We got a clear alleyway to put this spreader up back in the concrete so we can hook the welder up, do some grinding, clean some stuff up, and do some welding. Now I know most of you probably right now are saying, why bring the skid steer up all the way up here just to push the manure spreader in and out of the barn? I mean, hey, you got a farm all A. Hey, you got a 5610 Ford. And hey, you got an International 340. That we do, but guess what? I guarantee not a one of them are running. I know the A isn't because that's a project that needs to get done, get going. The 5610, I guarantee the battery is dead. And the 340, I'm pretty sure the battery is dead in that. And we've been having fuel issues with that. So I got to start working with that too. Get that thing running because we're contemplating on getting rid of that this year. Being that we don't need this many tractors. That's my parade tractor. That's my other hay tractor. And this... I ain't found a home for it yet, so probably going to be getting rid of it. So I just assume get it running and let her going good and let it find a new home. But then again, we see here, we got a Cub Cadet, uh, yeah, Cub Cadet lawnmower, and uh, we got a Honda four-wheeler. Maybe the neighbor left the keys in there. Yes, we're storing these for the neighbor. He's a great guy. It's willing to help neighbors out if they're decent. So we're storing these up here for him because he's lacking a little bit of room. Maybe we can get this four-wheeler started and push the spreader in. Awesome sauce, guys. Awesome sauce. Here I thought that we were going to need to get the skid steer. But if you can look, 
instant replay right here is showing that it hit the goal line. So we're gonna include that as a touchdown right now. And uh, the field goal is good. And we even had a couple inches to spare. So we can get the door closed at least, so this is sealed up. This is in here now. Awesome. All right, guys, gals. Gale 1177 is undercover. We're able to close the door. We haven't done it yet, but it will close. It looks like we're gonna have about five, six inches of room. So there's tons of projects in here, and that's basically what I'm doing, and is getting video content lined up for you guys and getting some stuff done around here. So as you can see, we have broken beaters right here. The bolts need to be pulled. Probably gonna basically get some steel. Scribe plates, I make them myself. I don't buy them, they're expensive, they don't last. I make them myself with the plasma cutter. So we're gonna be doing that. A little dark as you can see. And right there is where the one that broke. So we gotta get that clean, try to marry it back together and get that welded. The Chrome KR125 baler is in need of some work. Uh, that is the Overland Farms baler. That's not mine, but we use it together. That needs some work. Uh, basically, there's a crap ton of pickup tines that got bent, folded in, due to a wad of really wet, muddy hay that just kind of caused a lot of trouble last year when we were doing balage. So there's some issues here, plus it's snowing in here. Yeah, they got clear skylights in here, and basically that's the old steel. As you can see, if you look up, there's some holes in that right there. So, and it's coming from the ridge vent. So we got that project, which has got to be done. We got the farm all A over here. The farm all A needs to get going. My mother-in-law was graciously enough to give that to me, and I owe it to her to just show them that I, you know, I want to get that going. That's I'm excited. I really want to try getting into a parade this year with it. I got some big ideas. The 5610 has uh, headlights that we want to get on it. I have a whole new set of headlights for the fenders. They're sitting over there on the workbench. That needs to be done. As you guys follow the videos from last year, we worked on the 5610 and fixed a couple issues on it already. So I want that thing 100% ready to go lights. That was about the only thing that really needed to be done. And as I told you here previously, the 340 needs to get going and just running good. So we got that to mess around with. The uh, 8430, I believe it is. Yes, the Case International 8430 baler. Pretty well good. It's all cleaned up, all put away, ready to go, grease, oiled, everything like that. But we do have some pickup tine teeth underneath on the pickup head right there that need to be replaced. And the Overland Farm was graciously enough to donate some. He had some given to him, so he just re-gifted, basically. So that's gonna work out good. So we're gonna replace the teeth on that. So we got at least a half a dozen projects here in the tool shed that we're gonna be working on here within the next couple months. So I hope you guys enjoy all this stuff going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a bail. Moment of truth. Let's see how good my eyes actually work. And as Farm Hall would say, boom, baby! All right, guys, gals, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there is a part two that's going to be released here after I edit it today and get it going. Basically, what we're doing in part two is we're just continuing on what I told you I was going to do. I did some work in the machine shed today, used a couple products that I wanted to try out, and uh, I hope you guys hop over to that video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Basically, this video was just uh, what we're going to be doing here this winter. I like to have some projects. Uh, like I said, I have four to five hours of downtime in the morning before I have to go to work. So I'd like to be able to have some projects to do to keep me busy before I go to work. So, guys, hop over to video number two. This is part one. If you enjoyed this, please like it. Comment down below. I love the comments. I love getting back to you guys. And subscribe if you already haven't. Please subscribe if you already haven't. I look forward to talking to y'all real soon.